Hello my fellow humans, my name is Jarrell, I'm a games developer, and I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting frequently as of late, and that is how do you make games for the Nintendo DS, and it's actually surprisingly easy, all thanks to some key members in the homebrew community, uh, most importantly is James Garner, who created DS Game Maker, so today I will show you how to set that up, it's very easy, there isn't really that much to show you here, so go ahead and just go to Google and type in DS Game Maker. Maker. You're going to see a couple websites here. So if you go ahead and click on this first page here, you're going to see from Digital Design Dude. This is who we have to thank for carrying this forward, carrying on uh, James' work, as James isn't actively working on DS Game Maker anymore, but Digital Design Dude is basically carrying the homebrew community entirely. Uh, so there's going to be a number of guides here that will help you, uh, but basically what you want to do is click on DS uh, GM Windows. Uh, 11 and 10 and this one will let you set up uh, DS Game Maker for your Windows machine. So you'll want to just go ahead and download whatever they've got in here. Follow the instructions. Uh, this will walk you through it. I'll point you in the right direction but I'm not going to hold your hand. I'm not going to do all the work for you. I'm not your dad. At least not your real one anyway. So you'll have to do some of the work yourself. So I'll point you in the right direction. Just follow the instructions. They will explain everything for you. It's very hard to go wrong, but if you happen to get stuck, there is a Discord for this. And if you comment down below, I'll be happy to uh, answer your questions and help you get this installed and set up. Just as a side note, if you have other development environments set up, say for example, Butano for GBA, that will conflict. And if you install this on top of that, Butano will stop working and other development environments as well. So when you are done installing it, and it's you know, again, quite easy as there are instructions there. There are going to be some important reference manuals here. So there are some tutorials here which you can read, but really it is a drag and drop interface and you push a button and it creates a DS-ROM that you can play in emulators or if you have a flash cartridge like an R4, you can play games that you make and within minutes you can make a little tech demo and in a couple hours you could make a playable game. So, what's important is to keep track of this documentation here as well. Let's go ahead and have a look here. What's really going to be important is just take a look at this document here. Uh, there's an introduction here from James Garner. It'll answer some of your questions if you happen to get stuck, but it will explain quite a few things here on making a start and adding resources. It's best to experiment, and there are also examples. So, look for the examples, which they do have available as well. Um, it looks like they're bringing it soon to itch.io, um, but if you ask in the Discord, there is a Discord available, and they will be able to bring um, some um, tutorial files to you. Let's go back a little bit. We'll have a look. I think one's, this one's the original one. So uh, this, this site's a little bit out of date now. Let's go to resources here and see if we can find anything to help here. Alright, so it looks like they've moved quite some things around here. So, this site I think isn't that helpful anymore, but again, look for the Discord, type in DS Game Maker Discord, and they will be able to help you out. So that's that's basically it, it's very easy. Again, I'll point you in the right direction, but it's important to work things out and, and try and figure out how to do things on your own. And if you get stuck anywhere along the process, comment down below, or I guess with the new cursed YouTube, if you're using it on the PC, comment to the side, which people are go now going to have to edit all of their videos, and uh, go ahead <laughs> and uh, say comment to the side instead. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and enter the uh, DS Game Maker Discord, and there will be people there who can help you as well. And that's it. It's very simple to set up, and it's quite easy to just make a functional working game. I've got a game, I'll put a link to my itch.io, I upload regular free homebrew games, and I have a new homebrew, uh, a new uh, official game coming to Nintendo Switch, Steam, and the PS Vita free homebrew version for that as well, and Atari VCS. Okay, take care of my fellow humans, and if you like and subscribe, I, I don't really care, because I'm not a content creator on the internet. I just wanted to help some people out, so this is how you set that up. Next time I'll be covering setting up a game maker for PlayStation Portable, which is it's ridiculously easy. It's so fantastic. Okay, <laughs> take care everyone. I'll see you around.